Hello viewers, welcome to Device Manager. In this video, I will show you how to solve one of the most common issue with PC, USB device not recognized. I will give you 7 solutions to solve the issue. One of them will definitely help you to solve the problem, so watch the video fully. Method 1, PowerShell. In the search bar, type PowerShell. Select Windows PowerShell or Windows PowerShell ISE. There you type msdt.exe space minus id device diagnostic. And hit enter. It will take you to the hardware troubleshoot window. Click next. It will troubleshoot the device to solve the issue. In my case, there is no issue with my USB device, so it shows, troubleshooting couldn't find any problem. In your case some problems will be enlisted there, and click OK to resolve it. In most of the cases this method works. If it doesn't, let's go to method 2. Method 2, add a device. In the search bar, type, control panel. Click on it. If you don't see the window like this, then change the viewing option to category. There under hardware and sound, click on add a device. After searching, it may show your USB device there. Then select the USB device and click next. And then select yes. If it doesn't show your device there, let's go to method 3. Method 3, disable USB selective suspend setting. For that, type Control Panel in the search bar. Click on Control Panel. Change the view to Large Icon. There you click on Power Options. In the Power Options window, on the left side, select Change when the computer sleeps. There click on Change Advanced Power Setting. Here expand USB Settings. Expand USB selective suspend setting. If you see enabled with on battery and plugged in, change it to disabled. Click OK. Now try to connect the USB device and see whether the issue is solved or not. If the problem still persists, let's go to method 4. Method 4. Install WPDMTP. Go to local disk C. Click on Windows. There you select INF. In the search bar, type WPDMTP and hit enter. Right click on WPDMTP file and select install. After installing, restart your PC. Connect the USB device again to see if the problem is solved. If it doesn't let's go to method 5. Method 5, change drive letter and path. In the search bar, type, disk partition. Then select, create and format hard disk partitions. There right click on the, USB drive. Then select, change drive letter and paths. There click on, change. Then change the drive letter to some other letter, say, Q. Then click OK. OK. Restart the system and see if the problem is resolved. If not, let's go to method 6. Method 6. Disable and enable USB driver in the search bar. Type Device Manager. There you will see USB Serial Bus Controller. Expand it. You will see a lot of options there. Right click on each one of them. Click on Disable Device. It will show a message like this. Click Yes. It will ask you to Restart. But now let's click No. Then right click on it again and select Enable Device. Repeat the procedure on all the options.
After doing it on all, restart the device and see if it shows the error message again. If not, let's go to method 7. Method 7. Start and stop services again in the search bar. Type services. There, right click on cryptographic services. Click stop first and then start again. After that, look for plug and play. Right click on it and repeat the same procedure. Stop first and then click start. Now restart the device. That's it. Hope one of these methods solved your problem. If yes, like, share and subscribe. Let me know your queries through the comment section. See you guys in the next video. Thank you.